Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to customize this Dodge D100. I'm going to turn this one into a gasser. Then I'm going to deliver this one to my friend Connor from United Kingdom. Right before starting the work on Connor's gasser, let's have a look on this. First thing to do with this truck is to remove the hood. I'm going to place the 1955 Chevy Bel Air gasser's engine and I think it will fit this truck perfectly. The only way I could manage to cut the hood was to place this truck inside this vise. It gave me extra leverage and more accuracy when I was cutting this hood. Inside the box I have received from my friend there were some nice cars that he had sent me and there was this little plastic bag with this truck inside. Inside there was also an engine and this set of wheels. At first I thought they are a little too small for this truck. Then at the end I decided to use them because they turned out to be perfect for this truck. Here is the engine, it is the engine piece that you can find on the 1955 Chevy Bel Air gasser. I don't need the grill because I'm going to use the original grill of this truck. Fitting the engine into this base is a little bit of trial and error. I want the engine to be visible of course, but I don't want it to stick too high. And another thing is that I want the exhaust pipes to stick outside and I want them to be in the right position. So I'm cutting the plastic parts from this engine until I will receive the right looks.
After finding the correct position of this engine, it is time to attach the engine to the base by using a little bit of epoxy glue. Now a little bit of details like adding the ignition wires as well as creating a tiny radiator. After installing the ignition wires and the radiator, it is time to remove the original exhaust pipes. I don't need them. Another piece that will be removed is this uh, plastic part that was holding the wheels originally. I don't need this one as well. Whenever I'm removing the hood from any car, I'm creating a firewall from a piece of clay or other metal part that I have. It will give this truck the right looks. Since this car is going to be a gasser, I can't use the original channel that used to hold the original axle. Therefore, I'm creating a new one for this nice set of wheels that Connor had sent me. 
Now I can see that this truck is starting to get the right shape, but I need to drill another channel at the back for the rear axle. I've painted this body in black, it is the basic coat and from here I will start to paint and detail this truck. It's going to be painted with acrylic colors and I will detail the entire truck with some rust effects. And after the nice details I've added, here is Connor's new gasser. He asked for this used condition and as you see, it is looking kind of old truck that someone had turned into a gasser. I really like customizing this truck for my friend Connor, he is a really good friend of mine from the UK and I'm pretty sure that he will like this one even more when he will see it in person. After this video I will pack this car and I will send this one away to United Kingdom. Right before wrapping up this video let me say thank you again for watching and thanks for your nice comments and support. I would like to welcome all new subscribers for this channel. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you soon on my next video. Bye bye.